One of the things that we received some of our most positive feedback from from last year were our GOF CPLs. You know, our good old-fashioned church potluck luncheons. <sighs> okay, so we have another one coming up. So I hope you have your table topics ready, your appetites ready, and your recipes ready for our next good old-fashioned church potluck luncheon, which is this coming Sunday, January 22nd at 12.15 p.m. in Maxwell Hall. Memorial will supply the main course, and you can bring your favorite sides, veggies, desserts, or whatever it is you love to eat and share. As always, the main reason for these potlucks is to get together with the church family and have some good fellowship, food, and conversation. So as I always say, bring a dish to share or just bring yourself and join us next Sunday at 1215 in Maxwell Hall. Many of you know that our own Dr. Diana Twiggs is about to make her third trip to Poland to help Ukrainian refugees there, and she has graciously agreed to come and chat with us on a Thursday night to give us some information about her trips, tell us about her call to go there, and how we can help. And you'll remember that this was originally scheduled for November, but we had a really nasty storm come through, and we had to cancel it. So this is the rescheduled Talk with Diana. Join us Thursday, January 26th at 6 o'clock p.m. in the sanctuary. Hear stories from Diana about what she's learned and what she's seen and ways that we can help. We'll collect a special offering that night that will help her aid even more Ukrainian refugees during her next visit. And this is exciting. Our missions committee has agreed to match whatever is collected that night up to $1,000. So invite a friend and join us Thursday, January 26th at 6 o'clock p.m. as we learn firsthand stories of the citizens of Ukraine. I wonder if some of you have made New Year's resolutions to get more involved in mission and in our community in 2023, or maybe you're just itching for an opportunity to serve. Well, get your red shirts ready. I've got two opportunities for you to help this week. First, come and walk with Memorial in the Martin Luther King Day Parade tomorrow. This has quickly become an annual tradition for us at Memorial as we gather with our community to march, as we recognize the lessons of peace and reconciliation taught to us by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. The place to meet is right next to the Peck Center on the corner of Elm and 11th Street, which is just three blocks east of 8th Street. You can see what it looks like here. Be there between 1115 and 1130 and wear your Red Love Shows Up shirt so that we can walk together. Now, our second opportunity for you to get involved this week is through our annual Citrus Drive. That's this Saturday, the 21st, and we have been gathering locations of trees that we are allowed to pick fruit from, and we will meet with St. Peter's, and we will go out together and gather this fruit and bring it to the Barnabas Center for our area hungry. You can join in by wearing your red Love Shows Up shirt and meeting at the St. Peter's parking lot that you can see here by 9 a.m. and set out with the groups to go pick some citrus. If you have any questions, contact Justin. Enjoying food and fellowship at our church potluck, hearing about the stories from Ukraine with Dr. Diana, and pitching in on two of our missions through the Citrus Drive and the Martin Luther King Parade. These are just three things, really four things, that you can do to live your calling through Memorial.